Mizora. Playtime's over, pet. What do you want? Ah, oh, I love this time of year. The dickheads start popping up wherever you look. Nice. Incredible. A light so radiant, not even the curse can dim it. The lantern flickers ever so briefly, and you hear a slight twitter. Or perhaps it's simply your imagination. Give it to yeah. us. Don't move a god's damn muscle. Talk. Why in the hells would a cultist turn on his kind? The pin the man wears is familiar to you. He belongs to the Harpers, a covert organization dedicated to freedom and balance. Prisoner, and I must be a welcome sight indeed. Follow me. I know refuge from the darkness. You can rest there. All right. An inn, last light. It's called. A place you can sigh without the shadow beasts hearing. Uh. Lead Let on. the lantern's light be your guide. I'll mark your map should you lose the way. All right. Wait a second. Give me the lantern. How much farther can I go? Let's just fo let's just follow them. All right. Give me the lantern, buddy. Ooh, wow. We'll come back to that, okay? Oh, they put up a struggle. In vain. Harper Branthos, right? Give me the Give me the lantern please. This place is protected. You might find allies here. Really? Or at least supplies. You there! Step forward and keep your hands off your weapons. Easy. He helped us out in the shadows. Come. Jahira. Mm-hmm. Hello? Hello. <laughs> Kindness is too often a decoy. This is why we're here, you see. It is a curious creature that hides all manner of secrets. But if there's one thing that we know... It's that it knows its own kind. You should never have come here, true soul. Protected the Emerald Grove. <laughs> yep. Didn't leave a goblin standing. Not so bad to hang around with either. Save two of my friends. One from a harpy and one from a mad druid with a snake. Didn't make a fuss of our thieving either. I pretty much trust him with my life. A true soul with a mind of his own? How is that possible? All right, Druid.
I've met no sorcerer that powerful. And I've met many. Now speak plain. How do you have control? is that thing? Congratulations! You've earned yourself the benefit of the doubt. Hear me, Harpers! All clear! At ease! All right. Do not pretend to understand what that artifact is. But I'm old and wise enough to recognize a sliver of hope when it crawls out of the dark. Okay. Tell me, why have you come here? Then you found an ally in me. For that is precisely why I am here. All right. There's food in the inn over there. Beds too, if you require rest. Aloe oil in the cupboard, in case the vines gave you a rash. Okay. Settle in. Then come join me for a drink. You may just be the godsend we've been praying for. Blood this is heavy. Whatever I expected uh, to find. Jahira seems sure of you. I hope she's right. This barricade might keep the shadows out, but it won't help against what's already inside. Okay. Just about. Uh, Harper. Where is my lantern, buddy? Where is my lantern? Jahira wants to know about supplies. Okay. Where is that guy? Very well. Hey! That's close enough. Artifact or no, I don't like the likes of you crashing our party. Okay. Give it a rest, Alfred. We need all the God's damned help we can get. Rescue party. Okay. Not that you'll give a triple shot, Dan. But we were ambushed by them bloody cultists. Bastards torched the pigsty we were staying in and made off with the Grand Duke of Baldur's Gate himself. See? Help needed, help offered. Yeah, I'm touched. Uh. If you're serious, go talk to his aide, Floric. She's inside, strategizing. Guess you need to be a god's damned counselor to get room and board. All right, got it, got it. Let's talk to her. Stock up while you can. I only hope I've brought enough to see us through. All right. Cheeky. But, since you're asking... What did I get? Oh, that's nice. Supply pack. If you're all right by Jahira, you're all right by me. Shield of Devotion. Now that's nice. Sh uh, but wisdom saving five, and I can steal. Uh, oh. All right. Time to see what new horrors waiting for us. So let's do invisibility, or. Uh. All right. So let's save it here. I'll probably need to do some pickpocket. Okay. So we need this. So let's steal that. All right. Nice. So I was finally able to steal all this stuff. Okay. It took a while. <laughs> but I think with this I have everything I want. So. Exit. We'll send him to camp. We'll go back. If you're all right by Jahira, you're all right by me. We'll leave. And see, we'll say I'm being robbed. 
right? I think s she'll probably come to me. There's a pickpocket operating nearby. You feel the arrow of suspicion pointing your way. But since we don't have the equipment on our hand, you quickly clear things up. Obviously, you aren't the thief reported. Absolutely. Exactly. <laughs> so, I think she will go... Now she will move here, so it will be harder to pickpocket her, actually. You know? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, let's go back to the camp. Nice. So... Uh... Gain plus one bonus to stealth checks. I really like this one. Add your full dexterity modifier to your armor class. Additionally, this armor does not impose disadvantage on stealth check. So that would be for a starion, right? This, uh, to me... So I have more, like my, my inventory just now. And this one, plus armor class, plus one saving throw, right? So this one I want to give to Astarian. So this one, all of them has 19, 19, 19, right? But me, I have only 15. So let's give it to me. So I have 16, right? Now. And then this one I want to give it to him. Right, so his AC is 19 now. And he's like, when a foe hits you with a melee attack, you can use your reaction to knock it prone, right? So because I gave him light, uh, like, sorry, medium uh, medium class proficiency, then he doesn't need to worry about that, right? And for this one, we will give him the shield, right? So this missile's there. Right. So let's have oh, a rest. I'll give it a shot. Ooh. Mizora. Playtime's over, pet. What do you want? Ah, oh, I love this time of year. The dickheads start popping up wherever you look. What do you want, Mizora? Drop the attitude and perk up your ears. You've got a new mission. Absolute's cult has gone and grabbed one of Zariel's assets. A devil. And a powerful one at that. They're locked up in the cult's fortress, Moonrise Towers. And you're getting him out. Will your playmates wasting precious time? Let's see about getting his priorities fixed. Ahem. <clears throat> Clause Z, Section 13. Should promised soul refuse obeyance or neglect duty, the pact holder shall cast the promised into a vernus as a lemur. Uh. I'll make it simple. Will fails or refuses. And he turns to a thick blob of stink flesh and sinks to Avernus. Now, be a good boy and play fetch, pup, or you'll spend an eternity sizzling in the hells. Mizora's words may be flippant, but they are tinged with desperation. She cannot afford for Will to fail this mission. This may be your best chance to negotiate Will out of his pact. Hmm. Oh, and what condition is that? Your mind links with Wills, drawn in by his increasing panic. What are you doing? Trust me, buddy. Will relaxes, and your connection fades. Interesting. Now... Why should I go letting my favorite pet off his leash? Mm. So history is the... 
one, right? Interesting. Now, nice. why should I go letting my favorite pet off his leash? You recall an old incantation from a children's story said to void a devil's contract. Abi diabole et nunquam ready. <laughs> never seen such a fearless display of sheer idiocy. Bravo! <laughs> Fine. I'll play your game. But I amend the pact once the mission's done, not before. All right. Clause F, Section 9. Soulbinder shall bestow reward or favor only upon soul bearers' fulfillment of related obligation. Now, to Moonrise, pet. And do mind the shadows. They've been especially hungry. Hmm. God damn it! Why did it have to be Mizora? Why did it have to be Zariel? We're supposed to risk our necks to get one of her assets. What if it's a runaway like me? Or something far worse? Look, Will's happiness is my happiness. I'd sooner see myself a Lemia than him. But it's a bad idea to play games with the devil. You never win. Not ever. Okay. I've been thinking about the runes Casador carved into my back. Okay. I don't know much about Infernal, but I know anything written in Devil Script is going to be bad news. I'm afraid that through those ruins, somehow, Cazador might still be able to dominate me. Find an expert, of course. And I already have one in mind. Uh huh. Who? Our devilish friend, Raphael. If anyone's going to know about infernal text, he will. Well, we won't know until we ask now. Will we? Sure. Uh, unfortunately, he comes and goes in his own schedule, so we'll just have to look out for any sulfurous odors or the sound of questionable poetry. Okay. Meanwhile, I think I'll spend some time studying the art of infernal negotiations. The more bullshit she pours, the more of it I'm forced to swallow. Mazora set me on fiends inside and outside the hells. She's never ordered a rescue. Mm. Gods. She makes a mockery of everything the blade stands for. Such an asshole. <laughs> Thank you for sticking your neck out for me. I mean it, but I'm not going to celebrate till I'm actually free. Makes sense. Can already feel her scheming. She won't let me go without a fuss. Trust me on this. Not a one. Fail. And I made a mindless blob clawing at demons on the front lines of the blood war. And it means I always knew what my future held. And I know I chose right. All right. Serious. The voice of the absolute is strong here. I'm getting stronger. I don't know how much longer I can resist it. Okay. But it's good to see you're making progress. Mm-hmm. You took an unexpected route here. You did a brave thing, saving those people in the grove. Don't be so hard on yourself. It's not your fault the world is wicked. Mm -hmm. You did the right thing. The hurt runs deeper than she's willing to show you. Yes. 
Yes, I am. Beneath the resilient veneer, a touch of fragility. She needs comfort. Sure, let's go for it. <laughs> it's been a very long time since someone did that for me. works differently here it's hard to explain sometimes I can barely even remember what it was like before okay okay it just doesn't stop we are being bombarded by waves of telepathic energy wave after wave with hardly a breath between them I almost dare not rest each wave a set of orders to the infected the order for your transformation has been given many times already. Yes, but the orders are oddly erratic, as if the Absolute cannot make up its mind. I don't fully understand. Hmm. In any case, the Absolute knows you carry me with you now. It wants to retrieve me. Okay. I am the only one who can resist the Absolute's influence. Unfortunately, that also means it is dedicating more and more resources. Okay. The task ahead is monumental. But we're all that stands between victory for the Absolute. This is not just about you and I anymore. It has become far bigger than us. All right. We must infiltrate Moonrise Towers, discover the secrets of the Absolute, and put an end to it. So we can finally be free. All right. Now I must rest. And you must carry on. Do not let my efforts be in vain. All right. Can I go now? We Hell yeah. but one victory, friend. But it will not be our last. I need my lantern. Oh, damn on. Looks like that odd ox made it through the shadows. Ah. Could you? Oh my God, soldier. That's Jahira. The Jahira. Don't you know the whole story? Years ago, over a century, Jahira was part of a group that saved Baldur's Gate from Saravok, a ball sport trying to plunge the city into war. All right. My mum used to tell us stories about them. The legends who protected the city from... I've told myself those stories a thousand times since. I never thought I'd meet Jahira. Can't believe All she right. wants to talk to us about working together. What a day! Yep. Yeah, you come with hey me. You. Help. Last night's best bargain, right here. Uh, what are you doing up there? You spawned there. Karlak, I thought you'd be in the city by now. We were ambushed by cultists. Half of us were captured, the other half ran here. Off the anvil into the forge. We'll find them. Hopefully. Before you run off into the belly of the beast, there's something I need to tell you. Well, two things. Good news and bad news. I only need one more piece of infernal iron to craft an insulating chamber that can make it possible for Karlik to touch people exactly oh my god it's really happening it's been so long 
We've got the iron. Let's do this thing. Hang on. I think you'll want to hear the bad news too. Yeah, sure. But first, fix me. Please. Fine. Well, go on then. I don't enjoy saying this, Karlak. But there's no two ways about it. Your engine is going to blow and I can't fix it. I'm not sure anyone can. It's simply too hot to exist here in the material plane. Unless you return to Avernus. For good. This thing is going to blow. Sooner rather than later. But... But still, you, you can give me something that will let me touch again, right? Safely. Yes, but... That's all I need to know. Do it. Please. Mm. Well. All right. This shouldn't take long. Okay. Same as last time. You'll need to install it yourself. This should do the trick. There. So did it... work? Only one way to find out. Huggy's okay. Thank you. Can we go to bed now? <laughs> Hold on, Karlak. There's something I need to tell you. That engine of yours. I know you know that, but the thing is, there's a cure. I wasn't making any headway with the mechanics, none at all. The environment. You, you just have told to me that. To Avernus. The minute I set foot back in Avernus, Zarya will exactly. force me back into service. I'm not doing her bidding again. I'd rather die. I get that, but don't rule it out. The world just might be better with you in it. Even in Avernus. I won't stop trying to figure out a cure. But... At this point... I think we all have to face the inevitable. Uh, hello? You read me. Thanks, Damon. Really. You've given me more than I... It's been my pleasure. All right. Uh, hide the helmet, please. Should have wished to live in more interesting times. This is the best day. The best day. I'm so happy for me too. Now I just need to find someone to cuddle up to tonight, and I'll be the happiest woman on the Sword Coast. Uh... I'm not sure. Depends who's got me in mind. Withers was giving me the old eye the other night. Then again, maybe it was just an old eye. Uh. Alright. Speak with the dead. I mean, uh, I mean, anyone? I mean, I mean. Let's talk to no, still incapable. Not for you to know. Uh. Well, come close. 
your mind to mine. <laughs> Satisfied? <laughs> it's a talent. <laughs> I'm not a busybody. You ought to use me as an example, or you might get yourself in trouble. Fine. Good little hero. Fine, fine, fine. 